praise the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord? Well, uh, the Lord Jehovah, Jehovah Magen, the Lord our shield, Jehovah Ganan, the Lord our defender, Jehovah Sori, the Lord our strength. He has spoken with me, the Lord Jehovah Magen, the Lord our shield, the Lord Jehovah Ganan, the Lord our defender, the Lord Jehovah Sori, the Lord our strength, he has spoken with me this past night. And the Lord has spoken with me about Israel, the state of Israel, the nation of Israel. He has spoken with his servant about events coming to happen to Israel, to Jerusalem. And I see tremendous violence come to Jerusalem. I see a lot of running with stone throwing and what, and the, the Israeli IDF, the Israeli soldiers running and uh, defending Jerusalem and trying to chase the youth and these people and a lot of fight with the people that came from the Gaza Strip and uh, from the West Bank, and it was such a severe conflict again. The Lord Jehovah again, the Lord our shield, the Lord Jehovah Ganan, the Lord our defender, the Lord Jehovah Sori, the Lord our strength. He has spoken with me today. He took me to Jerusalem this past night, and I see a lot of violence, and I see the Israeli IDF, Israeli police, defending, trying to defend Jerusalem, and there's a lot of stone throwing and violence. It is something like an intifada. The Arabs on this side, and then a lot of attacks and violence and running, and then I see this Israeli soldier that is pushing them this way, running with them this, and then one of them comes and hits him down. The Lord shows me an Israeli soldier hit down on the head hit on the head, down. And then, uh, I don't know whether he dies, but he's hit down with his gun there. So it's tremendous, terrible violence that is coming to Jerusalem. The Lord has shown me these things. He showed me a lot of bloodshed coming to Jerusalem. And he showed me blood, blood coming to Jerusalem. And this is related to the recent announcement by the United States of America, the recognition of Jerusalem as the one indivisible, eternal capital of the state of Israel. And so that means there's going to be a greater violence that is going to come up soon into Jerusalem. And the Lord has spoken with me about this. And in that conversation, I went ahead and asked the Lord to defend Jerusalem. I spoke with the Lord in that conversation in the night, the Lord Jehovah, and I asked the Lord Jehovah to defend Jerusalem, to defend Israel, the state of Israel. And I'm reading now from the book of Isaiah, chapter 31, verse 4, and he says, the Lord said to me, no matter how shepherds yell and shout, they can't scare away a lion from an animal that it has killed. In the same way, there is nothing that can keep me, the Lord Almighty, from, from protecting Mount Zion. Isaiah 31 verse 5, he says, Just as a bird hovers over its nest to protect its young, so I, the Lord Almighty, will protect Jerusalem and defend it. The Lord Jehovah, he has 
spoken with me about what is coming to Jerusalem. He has raised for me this great concern of what is going to come to Jerusalem, a tremendous violence and bloodshed. Then he showed me a lot of blood that poured. And I see an Israeli soldier hit, and he falls down, he's bleeding and so forth, and a lot of running and violence related to the recognition of Jerusalem of the eternal, indivisible capital of Israel. And then in that conversation, when the Lord showed me the intifada, the running, the violence, then I turned around and I spoke with the Lord, and I asked the Lord to defend Jerusalem, to defend the state of Israel. And now I read again from the book of Isaiah, chapter 31, verses 4 and 5. It says, the Lord said to me, no matter how shepherds yell and shout, they can't scare away a lion from an animal that it has killed. In the same way, there is nothing that can keep me, the Lord Almighty, from protecting Mount Zion. Verse 5, just as a bird hovers over its nest to protect its young, so I, the Lord Almighty, will protect Jerusalem and defend it. Hasn't the Lord spoken to Jerusalem today? Shalom. <laughs>